Lucas, I think first chance we've had the, uh, the chance to chat to you. Um, how are you finding life at Wellington Phoenix? Yeah, I'm really enjoying it. Um, I feel the boys have been very um, welcoming and um, yeah, I'm really liking it. You've uh, obviously got quite a few minutes uh, starting the old game here and there. Have you, um, how happy have you been with your performances? Um, I feel like I can improve in areas and I can always improve as a player. Um, there's things just adjusting to the new system that Wellington like to play and um, yeah I feel like every day I'm getting a chance to improve in that and get better as a player. How, um, how much has that drummed into you, the, the Wellington Phoenix way, because we always hear about how the way Wolfie wants a team to play and then you, you do it, you just do it. How much has it drummed into you? Yeah, uh, Ulfie gets that into me every day, every session, working on areas that I can do better in as a, as a team. And as a fullback, I think it's a new way of playing for me, so I'm learning every day. Were you looking for a move? Is this something that you were, you were looking to do? Um, it kind of came across um, at the back end of last season. Um, obviously, I want to play as many minutes as possible, and um, I had the Wellington gave an opportunity here, um, and yeah, I wanted to take it and have a new challenge. And you're battling uh, with a pretty decent player in Sam Sutton for that, that left back spot. How does that dynamic work? And, and you know, is it is it a, a really you know stiff competition between the two of you? Yeah, I think we've got a really good, uh, healthy competition between us. We challenge each other every day in training, and um, yeah, we both want to want that starting spot. So I think it's really good. You got a shiner, mate. What have you done? Uh, just uh, a little incident on the pitch for the game. Uh, on the weekend, but uh, yeah, it was nothing. Well, nothing to do with that big, big fight at the end when uh, Ollie Sales trying to kiss Marcelo and, and everything like that. It, was, it was, wasn't in that that it happened? No, no, it wasn't in that, but I don't, I don't want to tell how it happened. Okay. <laughs> yeah, <fair enough. laughs> um, just word, uh, your thoughts on the grand final controversy, um, just for you as a player, what's that like, the fact that the next three finals are going to be in New South Wales? Um, as a player, you always want to play in the biggest crowds. Um, at the moment I don't really know the reasons why they've chosen to go that way but um, yeah I can't really comment on that but as a player yeah you want to play in big crowds and have an awesome atmosphere so yeah. How are you adjusting to, to New Zealand and, and life here and everything? Yeah there's a lot of similarities to Australia um, it's a little bit different um, it's a new challenge going overseas I guess um, without any friends or family but um yeah, I'm enjoying every moment of it. Was that part of your reason, like you wanted to kind of mature a little bit? Do you, do you think that moving to New Zealand would give you something in your footballing journey that maybe others wouldn't have? Yeah, definitely. I feel coming to Wellington was part of the reason as a new challenge and a new opportunity to develop as a player, learn a new style of football and, yeah, always improve. And what have you made of football in New Zealand, I suppose? Yeah, I guess there's a lot of similarities to Australia. Um, I had a few um, games with the local competition here and it was good to see what the strengths in, in that competition was and yeah, it was pretty good. Just um, a word on Australia at the World Cup, I'm sure you had your eyes on it. Yeah. Um, you know, how, how proud were you as an Australian to watch your, uh, your countrymen do so well over there? Yeah, extremely proud. Um, I always knew that this, this team would do something special and um, to yeah, get out of the group stage and in the end it was probably unlucky that they lost to Argentina. Um, if some things went their way they could have maybe gone even further so extremely proud.